More than two dozen people have been arrested on charges, including murder in a racketeering case targeting street gang leaders in Orange County. Our Jessica Denova is live now with details. Jessica? Latest of those arrests, nine of them happening just this morning in the cities of Santa Ana, Placentia, Tustin, Garden Grove, and Long Beach. In the federal indictment, more than 100 pages long, prosecutors allege the members of La M, or the Orange County Mexican Mafia, used fear tactics and violence to control the community, terrorize them, and keep quiet anyone wanting to speak out against them. Alongside local law enforcement Wednesday, federal prosecutors announced a 33 count indictment, 31 suspects behind bars, members or associates of the Orange County Mexican Mafia, known as La M. The indictment reflects a sustained team effort to bring people who terrorize our communities to justice for their years of violence and narcotics trafficking in Southern California and beyond. The charges against the suspects include conspiring to violate the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations, or RICO Act, allegations of extortion, drug trafficking, six attempted killings, and two murders in OC. Our investigation, which was initiated by the Orange County Violent Gangs Task Force in 2017, revealed that the Mexican Mafia shot callers were utilizing members of Hispanic street gangs in Orange County to traffic drugs, commit extortion, and commit acts of violence. Investigators say this surveillance video from a Placentia home recorded in January 2017 shows two of the suspects charged in this indictment shooting and killing a 35 year old man because he refused to pay the notorious gang taxes on drug sales. The latest arrest happening in this Santa Ana neighborhood during this very press conference. The search continued for one fugitive, Mark Cooper, believed to be in Oregon. In an effort to help dismantle leadership in this criminal organization, prosecutors looking to move suspects already in custody to federal prisons throughout the nation. Part of the power structure uh, is derived from being local and still have the ability to impact and influence others here. Uh, so we are going to make sure that these individuals get lengthy sentences and get sent to other prisons throughout the country. Investigators say since the 2018 death of a man known as the godfather of the Mexican mafia, Peter Ojeda, there has been increased violence as gangsters work to fill that void and take charge, terrorizing vulnerable communities. Federal prosecutors admit La M is far from eradicated. I think that the message that this case sends is that if you rise to power in that vacuum, we will come for you. And arraignments for six of the suspects arrested this morning are going on now in federal court in Santana, and I'm told at least two of those suspects will be released on bond. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.